Today, masterclass for you guys on kickoff returns, trying to return them to the house. If you guys watch any of my footage, you know that I get at least probably one kickoff return to the house once every two games, three games. So it's a really high percentage. But more importantly, I'm going to show you guys how to avoid giving up these gameplay, game turning touchdowns all the time that are constantly killing your momentum. So that's what we're going to do. So do not forget to like and subscribe. Check out the channel, other videos. Let me know down in the comment section what other videos you like. Also, if this helps, because these game plays, this kickoff, it's, it has a lot of vulnerabilities in it, and you can take advantage of it, especially on online play. So let's dive on into the video here. I'm going to give you a couple examples on how to return the touchdowns, and then I'm going to show you how to stop the touchdown. So this first one is going to be all about a user on user here. So I'm Notre Dame here returning the kick. And what I really want you to do is understand, like, I highly recommend kicking the ball off down the middle. I don't recommend kicking the ball off on the sides. If you kick the ball off on the sides, then you're essentially limiting your defensive coverage over there, right? So there's only three people on each side. So I highly recommend kicking it down the middle. Now, how to return these kicks when people just kick it off down the middle. What I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to this guy right here. So Based off of the coverage, which you've seen in most of the graphics, everybody's supposed to go down a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Everyone's supposed to go down a straight line. So this person here that says Allen, he's supposed to run just inside this hash mark here, right? So that's his responsibility. It's kick, it's kick coverage, and it's very important in this game because it causes a lot of issues. So you can see right there, he made a mistake, and I'm going to capitalize on that mistake. As soon as he diverted in, he has now created spacing between these two guys right here. He wanted to close the spacing left by the kicker, but he has now created space. And I know because he's created space, I can now take advantage of that space. You can see here, everybody else is in line. Everybody else is in line, except he has now created a gap here and here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take advantage of that. So now... He is not running on his normal path, which would have been right here. And if he ran on his normal path, he'd be wedge breaking this, leaving me to run right into his other guys. But because he diverted in, I now have an opening right here. And that's where you take advantage of it because he got lazy and he wanted to make the user tackle. You can't run here because there's all these people over here. You can't run all the way out here because there's people out here, but you can run right here. And this is how you shoot the gap. You shoot the gap, and now it's just me one-on-one -on -one with this guy, and I got all this space up here. All because he got a greedy and aggressive, and he wanted to run out of his lane. And then boom. And then we're off. All the way to the house on this one. Now let me show you another example of why you can't just let the computer do it for you either. So in this example, you're going to pay attention to him or her, whoever the person is, playing as the kicker only saying, computer, you worry about this. I've given up too many touchdowns. Computer, you worried about this. So this is why you can't do this. Also, if you're playing Dynasty or any of the, the My Career modes, any of that stuff, you can return these kicks on the computer, and I'm going to show you right here as well. First off, always recommend going to the wide side of the field, right? There's very little room here on this side, so I don't recommend you ever going to that side. Go to the wide side of the field here. And there's just more space. You can make people cut. You can make people move. You can just create a lot more availability for you. So we're going to keep on running this one here. Once I catch it, you can see he has now, or whoever it is, has now decided not to play as the kicker and just let the kicker just casually jog. What that has done. It has created a massive gap right here. You can see there's a massive gap that they created in the middle of this zone because they either took their hands off the controller, they didn't want to pay attention, they were just like, computer, you handle it. So now I'm, I haven't even caught the ball yet, and I already know I'm hitting this gap. This gap is my gap that I want to do. So I got to set it up. And if you haven't seen my video about how to break more tackles, I talk about setting up my runs. So in order to set up going to the wide side of the field here, I'm actually going to run the opposite way. I want to run this way down the hash, and I want all of these people to start pulling, and I want these people to start straightening out here. What that's going to do, it's going to create a cutback lane for me. 
So you can see here right off the gate, I'm now running down the hash. You can see this person's running this way, this person's running with this way, these people are straightening out here, and this one person's trying to cut off. But this is now the gap, right? I mentioned this gap right here. You can see it has now been created for me because I ran this way, this person came out of their lane, these people came out of their lane and collided, and I now have the gap that I was talking about right down the middle. And we're off. And because they weren't playing as the kicker, they can't stop it. And just like that, we started the game off 7 nothing. So those are two examples on how to shoot the gap and take advantage of people not doing things properly. Now let's talk about why you should never kick the ball off to one of the sides, right? So if you're talking about left and the right side, you never want to kick the ball off there. Now I'm going to show you exactly why right now. So if you kick the ball off to the side, you can see here this person kicked the ball off to the side. Look how many defenders I have over here, and look how little defenders I have over here. So I have one, two, three blockers, more coming, and only four defenders to stop this. So he kicks it off there. You should always just set it up by because you want to hit this gap. Look, there's no one over here, and everybody's over here. So you just run a little to the right, and then you kick it around this side. And then you're off because they have nobody over there. This is why you never want to kick the ball off on the sides. You just have very little defenders. You want to kick it off down the middle. So let's talk about how to actually stop these and how to kick the ball off properly. All right. So now I'm going to talk to you about how to actually kick the ball off. I highly recommend always kicking it off down the middle, kicking it as far as you possibly can. So go just, just before you can get, you see, I always go just before I get to the, the meter, the red part of the meter, the tip, because that makes it go all sorts of crazy. And you can see here, you kick it off down the middle. Now pay attention to how I user this person, right? My job is to stay in this lane. It doesn't matter if the kicker goes that way. My job is to stay in this lane. So you have to stay in your lane. You have to be very resilient. Do not go after the ball carrier. Stay in your lane. Push the ball carrier towards your other people, right? So you can see there. Now I'm going to get bumped right here and I'm going to get pushed off my lane. But you can see I get right back into my lane. And what that does is it keeps this gap closed. If I kept on going down this lane, I now would have created a gap right here for this person. Stay in your lane. Stay, stay, stay. If you get pushed off of it, get right back into your lane. All right, so on this one, sometimes you get kicked off your lane or you try to go around it, right? So... You're going to see me run down here as Brown again. I like to always stay as the inside person, and I'm going to divert around the blocker, but I'm going to stem back into my lane, right? So you can see I diverted around both those blockers, but right there, I got back to where I'm supposed to do, and I closed off this gap. And because of that, he has to kick it outside now rather than going all the way up the middle. So I'll show you one more time here. Sometimes you get kicked off your lane, right? You're going to get kicked off my lane, and I'm going to stem back to it and close that gap. So that's how you defend the kickoff return. That's how you return kicks to the house. I highly recommend staying in your lane. Just let the computer push the people towards the computer. Don't let the computer do it just by itself. You have to be a part of it. You have to be engaged. Otherwise, people are going to continue to return kicks to the house. Hope you guys like this video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Thank <music> you.